Hello everyone and welcome to the session on integers. This is from standard 6, chapter 6. This is the second session on it. So before we start the second session, let's play one game. You can see here are numbers which are written from 0 to 14. These are the numbers placed on a cardboard. Now the game here is we have two dices, red and green. This is a green dais and we have a red dais and the players here are you and me. So what are the rules of the game? The rules of the game is with the red dais we move backward and with the green dais we move in a forward direction. Whoever reaches the number 14 first is a winner. So let's start the game. I have here a red dais and I am rolling that red dais and I got here a number 5 in it. Now it's your turn to roll the red dais and you go, got on rolling 4. So let's take the next green dice. When you roll the green dice, you get a number 3. And when you, uh, sorry, when I roll the green dice, we get a number 3. And when you roll the green dice, we get a number 6. So now let's map it to this cardboard. Where are we? Let's start with you. You have got green 6. That is from the starting point which is 0, we have to move in a forward direction for 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So with the green, you are at the number 6. But with the red, what is the rule? We have to move backward. As you have got 4 here, we have to move backward direction 4 times. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So your final position after rolling both the dices is 2. Now let's see what happens to mine. I have here green as 3. So 0, 1. So from 0 it's 1, 2 and 3. I reached here. And the, with the red I am at the position, I have to move backward by 5. So I move here by 2, 1 and 0. As there is no numbers here, I stop here. So you would again come and say that you have to move backward by 5. But actually you are moving backward by 3. So that is a cheating. But I say that I cannot see any number here. So even if I have to move here backward by 5, I don't have any numbers. How can I tell my position? To resolve this problem, we add some numbers to the backward of 0 or to the left hand side of the 0. Let's say this number as 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, I have to move backward by 5 from this number. So let's let us do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in that case I reached here. And that is what is the position for final position for me. Now my final position is 2 and your final position is also 2. Now again there is a confusion. You would say that this is again a cheating. Why it is it cheating? Because Though we are at the different position, you are too forward to the 0 and I am too backward to the 0 or in the other words you are too right to the 0 and I am too left to the 0, we both are represented by the number 2. So how can we avoid this confusion? To avoid this confusion, we add some sign or some way of doing it. So the number should be different. Let me add a negative sign as I am moving behind 0 backward to the 0. 
So the numbers which are on the left hand side of the 0, I am representing those numbers with a negative sign. And numbers which are forward to the 0, I am not representing with any sign, but they are actually positive numbers. So you can see plus 1 or 1, both are same. So the numbers which are on the right hand side of the 0, we call it as positive integers or positive numbers. And the numbers which are on the left hand side of the 0, we call it as negative numbers. So this is what is uh, the concept of negative numbers, numbers which are on the left hand side of the 0, we have to represent that numbers and that is the reason why there is the concept of negative numbers came. I hope this is clear to you. Thank you.